Okay, here are my next book. Here's my next book called Paper Fashions Fancy. What you'll want, what you'll get, and what you might need. How to stencil and cut out your designs. Still how to stencil and cut out your designs. The scissor tips. All these books are basically the same, but they got different pictures, and some are, have different things. Like here's glue and embellish for making, putting beads on your fashions. Right here is gluing ribbon and trim. Yeah, and adding sparkle, it's just beads and jewels and stuff. Here is a little collection called Witches. It's just got some witch designs. Here we've got Transforming Tops, which just shows you to like put two thing two stencils together to make one. Like adding the like arm things in right. adding little arms out of this design. This stencil. And putting them together to make that. Like that and that just shows you how and how to make dresses. How to hang your designs on the hanger. The fairies, a little collection. Half magic, which is half the little stencil there. You just gotta flip the thing over. Fantastic greetings, like some books and things to design on. And nice little buttons. The color and pattern. Color, yeah, color and pattern. And here's the color wheel. This is my favorite one because there's stars, and I like stars. I didn't like the splats and the circles, so it's my favorite. And the monotrominomic or something. I don't know how to say that, but you can comment like how to say that because I do not know how. Complimentary. It just, like, say, red and green are two complementary colors. Like, they're exact opposites from each other. Neutrals and harmonious. Yeah. Neutrals are all like dark, not dark, but like not really colors. Like white, what people say. I don't really believe that, but it says right there. So, pattern, like how to use it. Like, some of them are, have way different looks on the same pattern like piece of paper because it's just all different on the piece of paper and yeah some little fashions over here mermaids it shows you the tails and stuff that come with it here is how to make scales wait that's on the other one but tails and scales. Well, the scales are on the next page, yeah. And it just shows you how to cut out the tail, which is just a fin and like the unfinished thing right here. Look, the fin is right next to the unfinished thing. So you just trace them together, like making a dress. Right here's how to make scales. I never really tried that, but I think I, I'll show you how in my next video because I want to try it. I never tried it before. Goddesses. Some goddess fashions. Pleats. Yeah, pleats. It just shows you how to pleat it, like in the other books. The beauty of books. How to make bookmarks and stuff. I made a bookmark, but it's upstairs in my room in a book, so I can't go get it. <laughs> Here is shoes and accessories. It shows you how to put the shoes on the tights, and some wands and hats and stuff. So here we got other things 
like other materials to make the dresses. Like a paper doily pixie, the glam goddess of fancy feathers, Trash, Al Trash Alda, the garbage bag witch, a glossy magazine fairy with a cape, crepe paper skirt. I can't read upside down, no matter what. A radiant wrapping paper mermaid with a tinfoil fin. And pretty princess paper towel. Here's the credits. Just telling, saying thanks to some people. And can't get enough, which was in the other one too. It just shows you how to get more supplies and stuff. Here the stencils are gone, unlike the other one, because I'm using them. And a quote, it says, The little shoes that fairies wear are very small indeed. No larger than a violet bud as tiny as a seed. Well, that was more like a poem than a quote, but yeah. And another one here. It says, she was wearing a magnificent gown with a 10 foot train and really looked quite smothered in jewels. So that was the end of this book. Bye.